Hello everyone, welcome to St Mary's again and we're filming this for Tuesday the 16th of February which is Pancake Day as I expect you all know. In the church it's got another name, Shrove Tuesday and it's called that because it's the day before Lent begins, the special season of Lent which is the getting ready period for Easter and all the celebrations at Easter with Jesus dying on the cross and rising again. And so that beginning of Lent is called Ash Wednesday. But Mrs. Openshaw, Sarah, is going to say a bit more about Pancake Day and Shrove Tuesday in our church kitchen. So you'll find out a bit more as she does something which you may well be doing on Pancake Day, Shrove Tuesday yourselves. Let's go in and have a look, shall we? Hello everybody, I hope you're enjoying half term. And as Father Simon has just told you, today is Shrove Tuesday or Pancake Day, which is always a very favourite one in the church because we usually have, as you know, a pancake party. And we have had pancake races, we've had people tossing pancakes and everything like that. Sadly, we can't do that this year, but let's hope for next year. Now, I've made some pancakes and you're going to see the recipe that I use up in the video or use the one that perhaps your mum or dad has used for ages because making pancakes is always fun so first of all we're going to sh I'm going to show you how I make pancakes okay I've got my trusty pan which I have had for many years putting it on a pretty hot heat and I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the pan and swoosh it round a bit, give it a bit of a stir around with this slice and let that get hot just for a second and then the batter which I have made earlier but which you will see the recipe will come up on the video we hope swish the pancake round to cover all the pan and leave it for a minute and I sort of tend to pull in the sides a bit to try and make it sort of round I suppose and then you'll see can you see that is cooking quite nicely and then when I think it's now I'm not going to toss it because actually after this you'll find that actually Father Simon is going to do the pancake tossing I think that's a vicar's duty so I'm just going to flip it over like that and it will cook the other side so they're cooked really quickly you can keep them warm in the oven and have whatever flavour you like on them. The traditional one is lemon and sugar, uh, but you might like jam, you might like maple syrup, whatever is very, very acceptable. I'm going to give it another little turn over, and you can see it's done when it looks a bit like that. Okay, so that is our pancake, and over to Father Simon and the tossing. Right, now, as you know, one of the key things about pancake days is you're meant to toss your pancakes, and I've been ordered by Mrs. Openshaw <laughs> to toss this pancake. Now, I haven't done this for a year, so the results may not be particularly good. <laughs> Let's have a go, shall we? Whoa! Oh, not bad, well not done. bad, not, not bad. bad. That's another one. And again. Way! Yeah, that's better. Bits on the floor. Oh, have those later, Lolly. Oh. Have those later. One more for luck. Three times. Good. There we will let you eat those bits, but I'm sure you'll want them. Put the camera down, Geraldine, and then they'll see Lolly yep. uh, being allowed to get the scrap. There we are, let's just undo you. There you are. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth the wait, wasn't it, Lolly? The bits went all over the floor. <laughs> the bits went all over the floor. Lolly, 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 come here, Lolly. Lolly, there, look, there. That's better, isn't it? I'll do one more and then see if there's any bits and you can have it. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! There's a bit there. There we are. Not that. There. And there. Tiny bit there. Yeah, gone. <laughs> I hope that was satisfactory. Four times out of four is not bad. In fact, my son Ben, not long after we first arrived here, seven years ago, when some of you weren't even born, now there's a thought, um, we were tossing pancakes in here, and if Geraldine just um, puts the camera up, pans the camera up, you'll see the, um, the beams going across the roof. And uh, he managed to toss his pancake through the beam and caught it on the other side, but I'm not going to try that now. I'll oh, come on. Go on. Let's have a go then, shall we? Oh, oh. Uh, quick, not quick. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll try it with this one. <laughs> but have another go. It's not easy, you know. Need a heavier pancake, I think, but there we are. Have to work with the tools that we have, I think. Oh, I did, but I didn't get it over. You've got to give it a really good hoik, I think. Now, don't get under my feet, Lolly. Yay! <laughs> oh. Yes, and you're terribly excited, Lolly. Yes, indeed. But you, um, I don't think you have this one just yet. A little bit. <laughs> yes, here we are. Yeah, Lolly. Yeah. You've been so good, you've kept very quiet. Yeah. Sit. Here's a little bit more. Sit. There we are. That will keep you going. And there's a bit there too. Not that. There, there, there. Right. How was that? <laughs> Tossing the pancake. I don't know whether to say don't try this at home because you, I don't think your mums and dads want pancakes all over the floor and certainly not all over the ceiling either. I have seen that, you know, pancakes stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> Bit of a waste, really. But they're so lovely to eat, aren't they? Enjoy your pancake day. You might wonder why we um, have pancakes on Shrove Tuesday and that's because it's the day before Lent begins. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent and that will be tomorrow. And then we have 40 days until we get to Easter. In a long time ago, people used to give up nice food, the food that we just take for granted. And they used to give it up for all those 40 days. And then they used to think that by not having the lovely things that we enjoy eating, like sugar and butter and eggs, that they would get them, it would make them closer to God. And that was called fasting. And it was something people, people still do that but not as extensively as they used to in perhaps Tudor times. And uh, so th that means that on Pancake Day, we're using up all the things like eggs, flour, milk, and then we won't have any of those until Easter. But we're not gonna do that this year because although people often do give things up for Lent, like chocolate or sweets, I thought that this year we want to take something up and be positive because we've had to give so much up in the last year. So could we think of some nice things to do every day, some kind things, make a list. You might like to write a card to your granny, be kind to your brother, do something helpful for your mum or dad. Just do positive things and positive nice things for you, things you enjoy doing. And so we will have a positive Lent this year and not a giving up thing. And we certainly will eat lots of pancakes. Right. And so I thought also, let's think a bit about our feelings. Our feelings are really important, especially at this difficult time. So I thought, to think about our feelings, I've got a little gingerbread man cutter, but you don't need this at all. And I'm going to draw around him to make a shape of a person. And that person is going to be you or me. And so when I've done that, I have got a person that you can see there. And we're going to think about our feelings about that person. So first of all, we might think about what our feet feel like. Now, actually, quite honestly, our feet at the moment are very cold. They're going to be blue because we're in church and it's absolutely freezing. But I asked my friend Rory, who I look after, if he would tell me what his feelings were. And his feet, and you can see here, these are jumpy because his feet felt jumpy, which I thought was rather nice. Now I want you to put your own feelings in here, just like Rory did. So if you look at his person, he put in, can you see here? I said, what do your hands feel like, Rory? And he said his hands felt like hugging somebody. So he drew fingers on his hands and his hands round like that. I'm sure we feel like hugging the people that we can't see, like our grannies and, and, and our aunties and people like that. And I said, well, what about your head? And he said, well, I'm putting a happy, smiley face because I feel very happy, which I thought was nice. But then he was a bit worrying because he said actually his head hurt a bit, so he did arrows because his head hurt a bit and his tummy hurt a bit. I think that was mostly because he was hungry, so he had his tummy there. So take your person that you have drawn and put your feelings in it. And you might like to talk about your feelings to a grown-up or to, to your brother or sister or you might like to keep them to yourself. But just remember, it's really important to think about how we feel, and if we're feeling unhappy, to talk about it. And we hope you have a lovely rest of the half term.
Bye bye, everybody. Hello, everyone. Just a few final words from me and a short prayer. First, I'd like to say thank you to Sarah and Mrs. Openshaw for doing such a wonderful thing with pancakes and explaining them and talking about our feelings, which are really important. I'd like to thank Geraldine, Mrs. Kennedy, who's been behind the camera. You haven't seen her, but she's been all important for all the things that we do. And you might have heard that little noise. And I'd like to say thank you, especially to Sarah's dog, Lolly, who's been very good and very patient. Yes, you heard your name, didn't you? And her tail is wagging 19 to the dozen, as it usually does. And she's been very attentive to what Sarah's been saying all along. And I just want to say too that yes, our feelings are very important. And they're very important to God too, because God has given us those feelings to feel. Sometimes we can't put them into words, can we? But they are important. And we need to tell God what we feel too. He knows what we feel, but it's good if we can tell him, because then it's clearer in our head too. And I'm just going to say a short prayer to finish as we come to this last day before Lent begins, a Lent when we don't necessarily give things up, because as Sarah said, we've given up an awful lot over this last year, but that we take something on. We enjoy something. We're good and kind to those near us and those we can't be near to at the moment. So I'm going to say a prayer about all this now. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, as we come to the beginning of Lent, Help us to be true to ourselves, to know what we feel, and to tell our mum or dad or those we love what we feel, and to tell you. Help us to go into Lent, knowing that you love us, and that you want us to express what we feel, and you want us to be kind and to be good and to help others. Help us to know that when we do that, we're doing your work and helping to build your kingdom, the kingdom we pray for, when we pray the Lord's Prayer that Jesus gave us. Help us to show and share your love, even in these difficult times, even across the screen, and to know that you love us, not just on Shrove Tuesday, the Pancake Day, or through Lent, or into Easter, but love us all the time. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.